Hey guys, it's Lana and welcome back to my channel. For this video, I'm gonna be giving you a little tour of how to do San Francisco in two days since I'm always talking about where I live on my channel. I thought I would take you on a little tour and show off this wonderful, amazing city that I live in. And also here's my friend Ned and my best friends in town. All right, well let's go ahead and get started. is Whole Foods. Clearly this is so important of San Francisco. Just thought it'd be funny because this is our adventure right now. <laughs> so literally I am walking backwards because the sunlight is in the opposite direction of where I'm filming. So we are, oh my god I just ran to a fence. Anyway, we are about to explore the Hip Ashbury neighborhood. This is like hippie central and it is a really really pretty and cool trendy neighborhood. So we're just going to walk through it. We'll probably go into maybe a few stores. What I really like about the buildings here is that everything's so funky and they're painted just really pretty. There's a lot of wall art and street art you'll see. You can look at some mirrors. colorful neighborhood which is why I really like coming down here. Both of us lost our sunglasses and we're gonna just go to the store right across the street to get some sunglasses and we'll show you we're gonna show off the cool little sunglass store. All the sunglasses. How do I look? Do I pull these off very well? Neda what do you think? No. She says no. I gotta. Too I gotta. Wide. They're too big. You know what? They are they're too, too big. Too wide for your face. Like they're too far separated. Your nose isn't that big. You have a nice nose. Did you hear that, guys? My nose is not that big. So much better. I can actually see stuff now. We just got some pretty cheap sunglasses, but we don't care. They look fabulous. Oh, ambiance. An absolute pretty store. Yes, Nets. I do want to go into Ambi. Everything. I want the whole store. I want all of it. We got nothing in that store. I tried on these two shirts and they did not look good on me. So I was really sad. So we're kind of just gonna finish up with Tate Ashbury. We're gonna walk to Alamo Square now and I'll show you what that's about because it's a total must when you visit this city and it's about like a I don't know 15 to 20 minute walk from here. See you in a bit. We are outside LK frozen yogurt and custard. Oh no sorry. Frozen custard. Frozen custard and just kidding. So we're gonna go inside and get some ice cream so they are so hungry. We've also pressed our way into a Nopa, which is really close to Alma Square. Okay, let's go ahead and get some ice cream. Oh guys, I don't know what I want. Can I try the matcha that's really good. This is my ice cream cone. I've been eating it, but I got a cookie dough scoop. I got some Andy Town coffee mixed with some vanilla. It's so good, guys, and I love that I'm eating just straight up cookie dough. Y'all, but this. Look at hers, though. It's this pretty. Matcha white chocolate, black sesame, ube. Thai tea cone, aesthetically and palatably delicious. Yeah, yours is cool. <sighs> Hills, oh, I'm out of breath. And I'm really not even out of shape, but we are so close to Alamo Square. She's just a better walker than I am. Now, I take an exercise class where we do lots of squats. So this is like normal. It's cardio and endurance, I got <laughs> I work out too. <laughs> yeah, when squatting is lifting. Here we are at Elmer oh, Square, and here, here are the painted ladies, aka the full house houses. Yeah, so just to clarify one thing, those houses that you just saw, none of those were the, actually the full house house. There's so many people who are like, oh, which one of these is the full house house? And none of them. It's in a completely different neighborhood. It's about like a 10 to 15 minute walk from here. And that's really funny how some Full House House fans think that. You're really a Full House fan if you can't even recognize the house. 
out of all those Victorians. But we will get there. I do want to show you that because it's really cool. Looks the same though. Like, I don't... But the Full House house isn't a Victorian though. It's an Edwardian. This is Alamo Square. Just a little small park and you get a nice view of the Painted Ladies which is something that everybody loves to see because Especially if you're a Full House fan, that's kind of the only reason why you want to see them. But yeah, I mean, it's just a pretty row of houses and they're pretty to look at. They make great pictures for Instagram, you know. <laughs> yeah, just a nice little park to chill at. This isn't my favorite park that I go to, but it is a nice park and I do come here every once in a while. Especially if I have a friend who's visiting in town, we always come here and I'll sleep for a good hour. Now we are leaving Alamo Square and we are going to go ahead and go to the Full House house since Netta has not experienced that yet so I'm gonna give her the experience that she deserves and needs because everyone should see that place it is beautiful gotta walk up a hill we're gonna take a bus there because I really don't feel like doing another long walk since we walked all the way here from Haight Ashbury so yeah bus it is now we are in the lower Peck Heights neighborhood we just have a three minute walk to the full house house so exciting. And then we're gonna go home and chill because we need to charge our phones. Well, I need to charge my phone. It's gonna you love. No, don't do it, it's copyright. So just a little reminder of how salty the neighbors are in this neighborhood because this is what they get for living in the neighborhood with the full house house. Here it is, the full house house. Yes, random people are in my video. Sorry about that, but here it is. Very, very, very beautiful. So the last time I was here, this house, as you see, it, it was this ugly black color. And there was also this huge tree in front of it because the people who lived in there were super salty because they were getting annoyed that so many people were like taking pictures of the house. And it's like, well, that's what you get for like living in the full house house. Like, I don't even feel bad for you. But I'm going to take an updated picture with this house because like I said, the last time I was here, it was this bluish blackish color. It didn't even look like the Full House house at the time. So I'm gonna take an updated shot because that was like two or three years ago. Okay guys, so welcome to day two. It took us forever to just get out. Look out. I like to call her the Golden Gate It's so beautiful. It's really windy outside, but oh, it's so gorgeous. I literally feel like such a tourist right now as I'm doing this, but I really don't care. But I am. I'm a tourist, so it's fine though. So now we are going to the Roundhouse Cafe, which is this little restaurant at the bridge. I've actually like never been there before because it's kind of like a touristy spot, but hey. Sometimes you gotta try new things, and it's always fun to play tourist in your own city. Do it for me. I will. But of course, Roundhouse Cafe. Hey sorry, we're closed. So we're kind of stuck here for a while until our next bus gets here because we don't want to pay for an Uber right now. We're so over Ubers. So, on to our next location. We're going to Girardelli Square, which is, you know, the wonderful chocolate that here in San Francisco. The factory is no longer here, but we still have the wonderful shops, which is a pretty big tourist attraction, but I love Girardelli Square, and I think it's a must do when you come here. Now we are in Girardelli Square. <laughs> it's so cute. Well, yes, I would. Thank you. Get my free chocolate. Mm. I got the caramel one. They always hand that one out. So yeah, that it was Girardelli Square. There's a lot of things to do. There's a lot of little restaurants, wine places inside the little shopping center. But we were overwhelmed for now, and 
We are gonna go and make our way to the Mission. It's a really cool neighborhood. And we're gonna eat some good food. We're gonna see some pretty things. And I'm excited to show you around the Mission. So I didn't get a chance to record to where we were going after Julie's prep. So we are eating dinner right now. We are at Taqueria La Cumbra, which is the creators of the Mission Style Burrito, which I'm about to show you. Look at this beautiful. I'll take a bite. So good. So yeah, when you visit San Francisco, you must come and get a burrito from the Mission District. They are so good. I will say that the burritos in San Diego probably taste better than the ones in San Francisco because, well, San Diego is closer to the border, so therefore it would make sense if they tasted better. But still, burritos in California are just good in general, especially when they're from the Mission District in San Francisco. So that is a must do when you come to San Francisco is get a burrito from this neighborhood. You will not be disappointed. So now we are going to be doing one last thing for this video. That's also the Mission and it is one of my favorite places in this city and that is Mission at the Dolores Park. I got to show you how beautiful this park is. It's huge and it has a gorgeous view of the skyline. And I can't wait to show it to you. Now we are approaching Dolores Park. It's so beautiful. And it's golden hour right now, so I'm excited to show you how gorgeous this will look. That's Mission High School right there. Isn't that insane? Like, I wish my high school looked that pretty. Hey guys, so that completes this two day tour of San Francisco. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I didn't get to cover as much stuff as I wanted to. I'm actually thinking about maybe making more of these kinds of videos especially doing like neighborhood tours and food tours. So if you are interested in learning more about San Francisco and how I live my life here, please comment down below what you want to see or if there's a specific neighborhood that you know of and you want me to cover more of. Like I said, leave a comment down below and I will totally, totally, totally make a video on that because I absolutely love living here. It is a dream come true. I'm very fortunate that I can call this place my home. Hey guys, well that completes this video. Be sure you subscribe to my channel as I post new videos on Mondays. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.